Hello. Nokia is launching its Comes With Music service tomorrow. It's unlimited music subscription service for mobile. Um, and they've given out some logins to journalists and bloggers to see how it works the day before. Um, so I have signed up and I'm on it. So I thought I'd do a video run through. Um, the sign up process is very quick indeed. You just give them your name, your email address, your password and your mobile number. And then you enter your Comes With Music pin, which comes with the, the, the first Comes With Music phone. Which is here, 310 Express Music. And you're in. Very, very quick sign up process. You don't have to give them lots of details about your, your, your age and your, your location and all that sort of stuff. So you're in very quickly. Um, it uses the Nokia Music application for PC, which you could download already before today. Um, and it's, it's pretty much Nokia's music store, if you've been using that on the web, um, with an application with additional iTunes desk elements to manage your, your library and, and play files. So I'm in. I've got my Comes Music phone plugged into my PC. Um, there are two elements to Nokia Music. You can see up here these two tabs, My Music and Store. My Music is your library, and Store is the Nokia Music Store. And you can switch between two very easily. Um, uh, there's no prices anywhere, that's a, the main difference to Nokia Music Store. Everything is essentially there for free. And it's very, very good at, uh, in terms of um, just one click and drag and drop, and very intuitive to use. So, for example, um, you can look at the charts, you can look at the genres, you can go by bestsellers, there's different ways to discover music. So if I go to top 40 albums, and Kings of Leon, Only by the Night. Now next to everything are two icons, 30 second previews, which uploads 30 second previews to your, to your playlist so you can play them, and download button. Now with comes music, just press download button, and it goes, it, it's coming down to your computer. So it's very simple from that point of view. That they're obviously targeting people who aren't really techies, uh, who have just bought this phone and want to get music. Now if you go down to the bottom of the screen, you can see current downloads, and that's where things are coming down. You get a little indicator saying how long it's going to take. Uh, and you can queue up as many as you want. Um, this is unlimited after all. Um, and just watch them come down. As they come down, they'll appear in your library and be played immediately. Um, the other interesting thing about the, the, the application is the way that the, the playing bar is very well integrated with the store. So the store is here on the left. If you go to the right, this is the playlist bar, and you can drag things into this, organise them, play them, all, all while you're doing it. So Word iTunes, you flip back and forth to my library and the iTunes store. Here it's always on one page, which is very, very, very nice and slick. Um, the store itself, uh, I said there's charts, um, there's genres, there's uh, promotional things at the top here, for various artists and playlists. Um, so in that sense it's basically essentially iTunes um, doing the same thing. I've been looking at the, the artists on there, it's a very good coverage of stuff. Um, there's no Oasis albums um, today, which is a, a kind of a, a, an omission for the UK. And I'm not sure uh, why that is. I mean, there are albums at number one in the UK charts, but it's missing from here. Um, but other than that, there's lots of, lots of stuff there. I mean, it's pretty much matching the UK chart for certain. Um, I'm going to be digging deeper into it later on to look at the, for the indie music. So that's the store, it's very easy to use, drag and drop, all that sort of thing. And then you go to My Music, which is the My Library equivalent for iTunes. And here, all my all stuff downloaded in here. You can scan your hard drive to put all the MP3s and, and, and WMAs and all the non-DRM protected stuff that you've already got in here as well. I haven't done that for kind of reasons of cleanness really. Um, but the idea is clearly that you, you would use this to replace your current music player, although it can't play iTunes downloads. Um, you can sort it in various ways, you can sort it by albums, artists, tracks, genres, you can get rid of the artwork. Um, you can show these playlists over here and create playlists for yourself. Um, it's very slick again, very easy to use. And again it's drag and drop. So because I've plugged in my Comes Music phone, it's appeared here at Nokia. So what I can do now is choose an album, so you can see it, and drag it over to Nokia. And that's it. It calculates how long the transfer is going to take and kicks it off. And that's it. That's, that's how essentially easy it is to, to get me down the music and get it onto your phone. They've clearly worked very hard on making the process as intuitive as possible. And you really don't need technology. That, that's very impressive. There is a burning icon here. You can't burn Comes Music Downloads CD. That's one of the things that's already been made clear by Nokia. What you have to do then is go up here to this Purchase Music button and click Purchase Music. So I'll go back to the store click on purchase music and instantly it switches back to the regular store 
so you'll see in a minute, same tunes, but everything's got a price on it now. Um, and so you can buy um, music from there, and that's if you want to burn them in CD or you want to use them elsewhere. Um, other than that, um, it's it's pretty slick. That's pretty much everything for for the first look at it. Um, the playlist very slick. The, the store's very good. Lots of stuff on there. It seems to be working fine, and it's very easy to get stuff onto your phone. So it's an impressive debut, and we're going to be looking more at it in the next week to then find out what the depth of the catalogue is and how it's going to stand scrutiny. But certainly for Nokia, it's a really impressive start.